throwing up the deuces in Tyreek Hill's face. I think there was some confusion on the broadcast, a belief that that was going to extend the drive. Once that fourth down play happens, anything after that is yardage that gets tacked on post-play, post-possession. It right. backed up the Buccaneers. It didn't give. <laughs> there it is. There's the deuce. Hey, and you know what? If you're, if you're Tyreek Hill and you're going to throw up the deuces constantly, that's what you get. You're setting yourself up for that someday, Chris. I, I like. I, I just. I don't. Again, I'm going to go back to the refs here. I don't. I'm in the dish to show you. It's not about favoritism towards anybody. It, it's the freaking Super Bowl. Like, what do they want? They like the guys not to show emotion. I don't know, but it's not worth Still throwing taunting. flags Still over. Taunting. Still taunting. I. I, Still taunting. I know. I don't the thing think. Is, I want, it's, listen, if taunting, if you get in the guy's face and bump him and stand over him and straddle him and do it, that's taunting. Okay, then you're right. Then they need to call taunting on Tyreek Hill. But they he, didn't. They never call it on him. I know they because it's it cool him. and he's running away from everybody, so it doesn't seem as personal. But it's just, right. like, to me, stuff like that just got to go. I don't care. Stop the flags Time on is it. running away from us, Fine. so we got to get to our draft. Lasting oh, yeah. images from Super Bowl 55. What do you got? I forgot about that. Um, the lasting image of Super Bowl 55, I mean, I think the number one thing that comes to my head and that will always come to my head is just Brady hoisting the trophy in Tampa Bay with the, you know, the pirate ship behind him. I don't know how I cannot get that out of my brain. I know that's just an amazing feat for what he did. A team going there, playing in the home Super Bowl, winning it, him holding up the trophy, pretty awesome in the, in the lures of, of sports. Yeah, I thought you hated Tom Brady. What I know. Happened? Yep, I dislike him for this segment only. <laughs> By the way, nobody threw the football into the cannon porthole, so somebody actually bet three hundred dollars on that. Uh, Damn. Oh, well, hope you got hope you got more where that came from. For me, it's Patrick Mahomes running for his life, and whether we want to use the snapshot of him laying out like a shortstop throwing the ball yeah. to first, but but it's Patrick Mahomes all night long running for his life, four hundred ninety seven yards of running behind the line of scrimmage before he threw the football. And, uh, again, that's not on him. Uh, the, the blocking wasn't there, and the Buccaneers' pass rush was. No, you're right. It was uh, – that. that's what I toyed with, too. It was one of those two right there. I went with the guy who won, but you're right. I mean, really, I think when I think about the moments on the field, you're probably that, – that's the moments I think of. I mean, I'm always going to think of Brady holding it up and like, hey, yeah, how about that? That's really cool. But, yeah, when you think about on the field, it was almost like, what What do you think, Mike? Third, fourth play of the game where you went, whoa, like, are they are they going to block them at all today? Or, like, what's going on here? I mean, it was pretty, pretty wild uh, right from the get-go. Um, I think the next one, and as you could tell here, I'm trying to come up with these on the fly. Uh, I texted all of mine last night on our chain. Just feel free to. Well, I'm going to go with the weekend one. at halftime. We didn't like hit some of that. I'm going to go with like guys wearing bandages on their face with lights on their hands. The whole show. I thought it was pretty damn good, you know, and especially which like, again, is mind blowing here. Okay. But he paid 7 million of his own money to put on that show. I, 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 I He'll make it back. Well, I, I know He'll he will. I know he will. But I mean, I'm, <laughs> the NFL probably made that in what? Four seconds of a commercial yesterday. I'm just amazed that he had to put his own money. Either way, I thought it was pretty cool. Pretty well done without a full stadium and everything like that. Uh, I'll, I'll remember the weekend and what he did. Over time, it has become obvious in the music industry the value of that stage. So, yeah, uh, he'll he'll make it all back and then some. For, for me, another one is Rob Gronkowski running to the end zone with the first touchdown of the game. That Because we hadn't seen a run like that all year, and that was just kind of like that, oh, bleep moment where, hey, the Buccaneers actually have a chance here. That, that just... You know, because I'm thinking, oh, the Chiefs are, oh, you know, it could get ugly. They could blow them out. Oh, God, it could be. And then when he when he scores that first touchdown, that's when I thought, hey, you know what? We're going to have a football game tonight. Yeah. We didn't. No. We didn't. But but I thought at least the Buccaneers would be in it, and they were. I, I, I mean, in it, it, uh, in, you know, my, my thought after that drive when it was like, oh, man, that looked a little too easy. Uh, it was a little scary. You know, it was. It was one of those things, and, you know, listen, it was a weird night in the household of the Sims family. I've told you, my, my, my little boy loves Tom Brady. I mean, he was rooting for him to death over Aaron Rodgers, but he wanted Mahomes to win last night. He wanted Mahomes, but, like, it wasn't as crushing to him because I feel like he felt like he knew. 
He could see it. Anybody who watches football, you just went, eh, this team's better. Like, maybe Mahomes can make magic, but this team is better. That's all there is to be said about the whole situation. I think the last thing uh, I'll go to maybe with the, the, the lasting image is just the mauling of the offensive line by the Buccaneers. And what are you giggling at, you weirdo? Nothing, nothing. All right. nothing. You're over here texting something and having fun. But no, the no, offensive no. line for the Bucks, just the way they just – absolutely pushed around the front four in the running game to have 150 rushing yards, you know, with basically the same run play like we talked about. And the other thing, too, again, I mean, other than the sack, I mean, they didn't get near Brady. They, they didn't even get close to Brady, really. And that was phenomenal. And that's something I'll remember about, you know, Super Bowl 55. You know, there's a bunch of different ones that I, I know can, that I can say, and I don't want to keep going back to Brady. Um, but that, that moment with, with Tyron Matthew sticking his finger in Brady's face, even if Brady instigated it, Matthew, it just, it was a, that was the sign to me. Did you see his that, quote after the game? Oh, yeah. He, he never expected he that. Never Brady seen, never seen that side of right. him. Um, but, but that, to me, was the moment that the Chiefs were no longer that, that team with the aura. Right. Right? The aura shifted to the Buccaneers once – Brady broke Matthew in that moment. That that to me that that's when I thought, oh, Bucks are gonna win. That yeah. was after that play. I'm thinking after that that moment. I'm thinking that's when that's when I thought the Bucks were gonna win. Well, yeah, and that was what that would made it a 21-6 right before the right. half. Right, it seemed like everything was against Tampa. But, but and even though like we that. know what the Chiefs but can do, right. even though we know what the Chiefs can do, that's like yeah, that's you it. felt it's like done. yeah, they were in another yeah. class of a football team yeah. for this Sunday, no doubt. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.